everyone. Welcome. Thank you for finding time. I understand how busy you are potentially today because uh, the first day of the expo is always like that, but thank you. Much appreciated. Uh, as mentioned before, I would like to start with introducing myself. My name is Andrew. I'm the head of global de development at B2 Broker Group of Companies, not only limited to the B2B and Pay, but of course, B2B and Pay is one of our flagship products. And today, I would like to provide you with a sort of, I would say it's a, kind of the guideline of how do we see that or how we may expect what would be the future of the payments in general. To begin with, uh, to begin with, I would like to provide you with the current statistics over the transfers, specifically crypto transfers worldwide. If you may see, there is an on-chain volume in stable coins and a number of on-chain transfers. Uh, in specific, these tables, there is nothing to say about altcoins or Bitcoin, what to say. If you may know, if you may be familiar already, majority of the businesses worldwide, regardless of the purpose of its business, they are moving and they're preferring to somehow prevent volatility risk and stay in USDT rather than being operating in volatile currencies. Of course, it's, it's any business discretion. They choose what is the, what, how they would like to say that and how they would like to use it. But it is as it is. So if you may see the demand on the crypto payments and in general payments on crypto for different industries, they're increasing and increasing highly. If we go a bit further, and I would like to give you some sort of the portrait, or at least to emphasize a few industries that are demonstrating the majority of the growth in regards of the crypto payments. Of course, the first and the leading point is for financial sector. It may be brokerage company, it may be crypto exchange, converter, any sort of the business who's ready to accept crypto payments from its customers and end users for any service or products they're offering. But what is more surprising here, and it was really surprising to me while I was making research on this topic, more and more companies not related to the trading or not related to the cryptocurrencies in general are getting into the field. E-commerce, okay, it's clear and fine. It's absolutely obvious that these companies are going to be there and they are there. But some like messaging companies, food delivery, public transportation even, and as well as the public services. So. In our point of view, it's just a matter of time. Maybe in the next, I don't know, couple of years, all of the bills, even the utility bills that we're having, uh, pretty much everywhere in the world we will be able to pay in crypto. And this is where actually the market and the industry in general is moving. Uh, from our observation, from our perspective as being the technology provider and liquidity provider, of course, we can see that more and more people are getting familiar with crypto and more and more people are willing to use the service to utilize the service and all of the benefits of the cryptocurrency payments to their business. Saying nothing about the price per transaction, speed of operation, a uh, variety of options how they can be doing that. So for 0.2 billion worth of crypto payments were made through fiat to crypto payment gateways. Regardless of that, it still relates to crypto and it still increases the total volume of the crypto transaction worldwide. And more than 75% retailers, they are going to accept crypto or they are going to start accepting crypto in the new risk future. Or at least they have it in their roadmap and they are considering this as the solution. Uh, so, coming a bit more into details of the crypto payment, and of course, the best case scenario would be to provide you with a brief overview of our solution, our tailor-made solution, B2B and Pay, which has been operating for the more than six, seven years on the market. Uh, depending on the risk uh, model of your business, depending on how, how uh, what is the risk management on your side, Either you're ready to take the volatility risk on your side or not. There are two options at your discretion. It may be solution number one, which is doing purely crypto to crypto, crypto to fiat with conversion. So let's say 65 plus different currency would be converted into single one at your discretion. It may be USD, Euro, USDT, USDC, Bitcoin, EUROCT, USD, according to your need and according to what exactly you would like to. And of course, there is a solution called an enterprise made perfectly for the crypto exchanges, crypto converters, crypto brokers as well, the one who is not ready to exchange the funds they're receiving and they're willing to store as it is. Uh, there's no conversion happening, right? So there is no any, so to say, uh, there's less risk of volatility. Of course, it, don't get me wrong, the crypto assets are very volatile, but in case you're accepting funds in crypto and you're ready to pay out in crypto, that should be perfectly fine with an enterprise solution. 
And on top of that, regarding of the risk, one of the latest upgrades in our site, which we made since B2B MP is the hot wallet solution. We introduced an outstanding and unique partnership with the Ledger. I don't know if you're familiar with that brand, but Ledger is the provider of the cold storages. So it's any given moment of time, all of the funds that you have um, acquired from your end customers, you may move it to the cold storage and simply disconnect it from the you know, internet, right? So it would be, so to say, cold storage. As for the user experience of the crypto processing, as of this moment of time, or at least on our side, we try to make it as smooth as it's possible. It's super straightforward and super obvious. So we have an end user. The end user is willing to pay, to make a deposit, pay for your service, pay for your product in crypto. Your, he's purchasing the service, he's choosing what exactly he's willing to do, there is a checkout page. Once the checkout place is going to be in place, the client would be redirecting to the invoice page, and here, with at least our solution, you have an option. You may use our payment page and, choose, and give him a choice of the currencies upon his preference, which he's going to use, or you may just do a full integration for the API and make it customized according to your needs. When the invoice is being generated, the client will choose the currency. When the currency would be chosen, then the payment would be done. That's it. The payment is being confirmed by the blockchain, confirmed by the system from our system, from our side. We're sending a notification to your system, and that's it. The, the service, the, the product, the deposit is done, being credited automatically, and all this available for the API, of course. As not from a user perspective, but as a crypto processing in a nutshell, how does, it, how does it work? Because before entering any new technology, if it's relevantly new to your business, you should understand what is behind, how does it work. I tried to make it in the most simplistic way uh, for you, just to, be, to understand in every single detail how does it work. And as an example, I would be using Bitocore system. Bitocore is our in-house CRM system, mainly made for Forex brokerages, crypto brokerages, for crypto converters and crypto exchanges. Uh, example, I'm the client, this is the flow I'm going to take. I'm the client, I have some Ethereum at my MetaMask wallet. And I'm willing to do a deposit to the broker. I'm willing to do a deposit to the crypto exchange, which is uh, being powered by technology of the B2B and pay. I'm going to the relevant page, I'm choosing the currency that I'm willing to accept and I'm sending this money. Since, or asset to be more precise. Since the transaction is going through the blockchain, right? It require, depends on the type of the operation of the blockchain, of course, but it requires a specific amount of the confirmation from which the transaction can be considered as sent, right? Do not forget that in crypto world or in crypto transaction, they are irreversible. So once you initiate the payment, this is just a matter of time when they are going to come. And this is, by the way, one of the hugest benefits comparing to the traditional fiat payment solution, whereas chargeback, I'm pretty much sure if you've been involved in this industry, it's a common pain, or at least you heard some of the cases uh, that should to be suffering from it. Once the payment is done, once the payment is initiated, it's going through the, all of the systems. We, on our end, as a crypto processing, we take care of everything. We take care of the processing of this. We take care of checking the number of confirmation, taking care of all of the steps needed for you, or what is more important for you and customers to make it as smooth as possible. For the end client, it would be just 10 seconds task. For you as the business as well, everything would be automated. Once the transaction is here, that's it. You have a full balance available at your disposal, which you may put to any needs or your corporate expenses you would like to. Uh, be more technically specific, right? Crypto processing is not, it's not just a service. It, it is like a full ecosystem and the full infrastructure being used for it, including API, including user panel, admin panels, full back office, the variety of integration made specifically for the QIT, for monitoring, for security, for um, managing the tickets and requests from the end customers as well. And all of those is coming in that solution. Uh, some of you may, may think or may say, why wouldn't I uh, just uh, open my account on any one of the biggest exchanges in the world and will provide my client's unique address? Yes, you may do so, unless you would have one client, two clients, three clients. But as soon as going to the enterprise level, the automation is a must, and automation is a need. Otherwise, you would not be able to scale that business. Otherwise, you would not be able to move that business into the new stage. And this is where the best and the perfect solution of the crypto processing and specifically B2B and pay can, we, can be done. It's called address management, but I would like to call it automation. The whole process of generating the address, the whole process of uh, accepting these funds, of waiting for the confirmation and processing itself as is on the side of the crypto processing. So 
each client of yours, depending on the preferences, depending on the currency, depending on the if you're selling something for a fixed cost, depending on the limits you're put, depending on the availability of the invoice, we'll have a dedicated address. This is how you're going to track them internally within your system and within our system. On our side, this is just a sample how it may look in the admin panel. You will see all of the needed details, all of the needed uh, relevant parameters that may be tracked and needed for you to match the client's deposit with the client's deposit in your system and an actual blockchain transaction. So it's in place. Of course, uh, the settlement and everything would be automated. Once the funds would be received, according to the earlier mentioned business models with conversion or without, the funds would be settled. And they, uh, if it's crypto withdrawal, they're immediately available. If it's fiat withdrawal, it would be T plus one schedule. Uh, currency multiple blockchain supported and multiple supported blockchains, uh, in case you're operating in USDT, uh, and you're trying to prevent volatility, that is why you would like to accept only, uh, only stable coins, it's fine. Our system supports main protocols of USDT, USDC, so everything you need is there. And of course, as I mentioned before, which is more importantly to segregate and to divide one client from another. And this solution can also fix that, and this is the, why this solution is needed for your business as soon as possible. As for the token collection, as I mentioned earlier, right? Um, Multiple blockchains, multiple protocols. On this scheme, there would be mainly for the USDT on the ERC20 on the Ethereum transaction. We have a solution called Smart Token Collection, which effectively doing that. So all of your, imagine you have 100 clients. 100 clients generated this uh, unique addresses, they send money there. But if you may know to transact via tokens, you need to actually own the parent currency. In this case scenario, it would be Ethereum. We on our side will be doing it for you, and we on our side will do all of the collection and everything. So once the payment is happening, the funds are being moved to your either virtual wallet in the merchant solution or to the actual blockchain wallet in the enterprise solution. And they are at your discretion. You are to decide and you would like to choose where you're going to move them. So 10, 20, 30 deposits of your end clients within 5, 10 minutes will be available. The full amount of those funds will be available. So you can either move it towards the liquidity provider if you're a brokerage, move it towards cold storage if you're using Ledger, or move it externally to your system. This is a hot wallet and it works best. Uh, KYT, of course, if we're speaking about the crypto, there is a lot of um, saying or just people who don't truly believe in cryptocurrencies just because it's not that secure, it can't be tracked, it can. And we in build with three main IML providers, any money laundering providers like Crystal Chain Analysis and Elliptic specifically for that. So every single transaction that you are going to receive on your side Every single transaction which your end client would be sending to you would be checked for those um, vendors, for those providers, and only the one which are, uh, so to say, compliant or uh, under the risk parameters or can be considered as green would be credited to you. So this is how you also uh, trying to prevent the risk of being involved into fraudulent money transferring. Now, do not forget, just a kind of reminder, that B2B MP is fully compliant, it's Estonian regulated, and we just recently obtained Italy regulation. So the regulation is the key, and since uh, B2B MP is the solution which giving you that level of security on your side, your business is fully covered. The fourth solution I would like to mention, of course, is the security. As I mentioned before, the cold storage, because B2B MP is the hot wallet solution. But on top of that, for the hot wallets, there are variety of options how you may secure your funds, whether it would be 2FA, whether it would be white list of IPs where you're establishing the API connectivity point or from where you're entering the admin panel, different user rights. So some of the different departments in your company may have different rights according to a specific wallet. Uh, example, the, your chief of finance will have a full access, right? And some of the um, finance uh, related managers, they would be strictly for the read only just to check whether there is sufficient balance or not to proceed with this or that transaction. Uh, there may be withdrawal with approval, so this is how you also secure yourself from the team members who may do something by mistake or just trying to, to, to I don't know, somehow um, be not that transparent with you as the business owner. As I mentioned before, dedicated owners, dedicated owners per department, dedicated owner or dedicated wallet per um, project. So let's say if you're having three projects at the same moment of time with a pretty much alike name, you may use this one solution all in all. And of course, as I mentioned before, whitelist. Whitelist is specifically needed. Uh, 
coming back to the topic into the more background, why B2B and pay, right? And why we uh, chosen B2B and pay? Because B2B and pay, of course, is one of the flagship products of our ecosystem, I would like to call it. In B2 broker in general, we are offering variety of services for the Forex brokerage, crypto brokerages, crypto exchanges, e-commerce, so on and so forth. To give you like a small, um, small overview of what we're doing, we have our in-house development. It's a solution SaaS. Uh, it would be uh, Traders Room, Traders Room IB or B2 Core, you may call it, along with the mobile application for the FX and crypto brokerages, B2 Copy, which is an investment platform. Uh, of course, being a, primarily our business is being a liquidity provider. We're offering institutional multi-asset liquidity, multi-regulated, so uh, we're capable to facilitate to pretty much every brokerage house here for speaking about the CFD. And on top of that, we're ready to give a lot of the variety and options in regards to the risk management account denomination and asset classes. Uh, so as well as we're building brokerages from scratch, and with the building broker from scratch, we're empowering them with the technology. We're giving them the white label of, let's say, C-Trader or the Match Trader. And of course, all of those trading platforms that you may see on the slide is fully integrated with our ecosystem and can be connected within a couple of hours, honestly speaking. Uh, for the integration purposes, still uh, the biggest name in the industry, 1.0, Prime, XM, Centroid, and the recent uh, development, the recent addition to our scope of products at Tools for Brokers. Uh, we have a regulated uh, division of the liquidity B2 Prime out of uh, Cyprus and Mauritius as well, and uh, the project which is in the soft launches of this moment of time, digital bank called Equire. As of this moment of time, we're about, maybe by this moment of time, we're even more than 400 people in the team. Uh, we have a office located pretty much everywhere in the world. We cover, I would say, 60, 70% of all of the countries, or at least if we're not there, uh, we have, uh, of somewhere nearby, and of course we're headquartered in Dubai. And in case of, uh, of course, we will be delighted to serve your business. That's one thing. And in case of any additional clarification, you would be able, or you will be able to find us in the main hall. There would be both B2 broker and B2B and pay. Thank you very much for your time. It was absolute pleasure talking to you. In case of any further assistance, I'm at your disposal. Thank you, and have a nice evening.